I am Nima Drame, Agricultural Communications Unit. We are currently at the Agricultural Research Station in Sapo Central River Region South, witnessing the handing over ceremony of 1.244 tons of Orilog 6 and Nerica L19 from the National Agricultural Research Institute to the Rice Value Chain Transformation Project. The seeds are requested from the project by the government of the Gambia for onward transmission to farmers. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Moderator Lamin Dabo, the, station man uh, the farm manager for Nari uh, in Sapo. My assignment to do is to talk in general as to how Nari and then the project have been partnering, that is the RVCTP. Uh, I'm sure when the mic goes to the project team, Ladjor will uh, give some background to the project itself. That's not what I'm supposed to do. But what I'm supposed to do is to establish the partnership between the project and then the IP, which is NARI. Of course, we know that RVCTP is a Gambia government and uh, African Development Bank project co-funded. And then the main aim is to make sure the Gambia is uh, rice, uh, rice self-sufficient. So the main commodity crop is rice. Along the way, the project has selected two rice varieties, that is Orilog 6 and uh, uh, Nerike L19 sub 1. I will not go into the technical details. That is the role of Dr. Sonko, who is our lead technical person at the field level. But then, the Orilog 6, the project selects it because it is an aromatic variety. It is also short duration. And we know we are in the era of climate, uh, climate change. Nerike L19 sub 1 is also climate smart in the sense that it is adapted, adaptable to uh, submergence or, or float, it's flood tolerant. These are the reasons why the project selected these two varieties. Now, coming to the partnership with NARI, when the project selected these two varieties, it, it was noticed that we need to establish what we call local info on these varieties because these are new varieties. But also, we need to promote the varieties by putting them in demonstration plots, because that's also the first point of uh, 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 the diffusion of the variety to the communities. So NARI, in partnership with the project, set up two or three main activities. And then the first one is what we call local evaluation of the varieties, one. And then we have what we call the demonstration of the varieties, two. And then also we are doing what we call seed maintenance, which is also very important. Because new varieties we know as they go from season to season, they get mixed. Okay, and then the only way you can maintain the variety, uh, the variety, its purity, is to make sure there is what we call uh, seed maintenance, or variety purity maintenance. And Nari is also handling that for the project. So what we're doing here today, like I said, Dr. Sanko will go into the technical details, how everything was produced. But what we are doing here today is handing over some produce from our activities, from these two activities that I just, I just mentioned which is the local evaluation and then also the, the demo. The, the, the seeds we are witnessing here, I, I was told, is uh, 1.244 tons. That's what we are handing over to the project. Our understanding is that the government of the Gambia has taxed the RVCTP to mobilize a quantity of seeds. I'm not sure, but I think it's around 10 tons from within their own means to be supplied to farmers. So the project naturally has to fall back to its natural partners which Nari is among, NSS and then DOA and then the rest of us. This is our contribution to that pool of seed. Uh, let you for your information. This is what we are able to contribute to the project for what the Gambia government is asking from you. So, My name is uh, Dr. Ibrahim Asonko. I'm the director for crop research. So the reason why I'm giving this tax is because the, this commodity crop is one of the crops that is part of the, 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 the directorate. Uh, cereals, for that may be the case is even rice. So it's not easy to pick a handful of seed to sow and come up with this uh, uh, amount of uh, quantity of seed that we are uh, handing over today to the project. It's not easy because from seed to seed it takes a lot of processes. So uh, for Nari, 
we are tasked to evaluate these two uh, varieties, Nerica L19 sub 1 and Orilog 6. So normally in RISA you have a procedure that you normally follow. So at our end uh, in Nari, so when we are given a, a new seed, there are some different level of uh, activity we undergo. But for this particular project, we did not follow the normal scientific procedure. So we take a shortcut so to produce these uh, seeds. So the activities that we put in place to evaluate these varieties is in three folds. One is the local evaluation, which is done by the, uh, the research and also extension. So which was led by NARI and also extension. And then we have another activity called uh, local evaluation at farmer manage, where we supply the farmers with inputs, but we don't interfere in any of the activities. We just supply them with the inputs, that's the seed. The other one is demonstration, where we showcase our technology. Because when you are helping your indigenous farmers as a researcher, what is expected from you is like you have to come up with the technologies because there are a lot of evolution along the way when you are doing production. Things start changing because you are dealing with the environment. So these are the three different uh, folds that we use to evaluate these varieties. So today what we are presenting is the local evaluation at research and extension level. So we have uh, two sets of uh, seeds here. The one in front here is from uh, Wasu, so which was also managed by research and extension. The other one behind is from Sapo here, our end here. So we have different quantities. One may, may wonder why. Because we are using different land size. So uh, of course when you are using different land size, of course the expectation will be, the real will not be the same. So this is why from behind here you can see those ones are the, we have the higher quantity there. So I wouldn't want to go into the scientific details of each of these uh, activities that we, we undergo. But to just, uh, to just summarize it. So this is what we, we did to come up with these uh, varieties. I am Fatma Jame, Deputy Director, Sapo Aikota Directorate. I'm deputizing my director, Mfama Tarawale. I am to briefly explain the linkage between extension and research. Extension, as, you see, as the word signifies extension, ex is a linkage between research and the farmers. We link the farmers and the research. We are like between the two, two components. Research, they, they do, they, and they evaluate. Most of the time, they, uh, the farmers produce seeds, they take it to research stations for them to test the quality of the seeds, and they go through so many processes, like from seed to seed. Um, for example, like NSS, they, they will embark on uh, laboratory analysis together with NARI. They test whether the seed is viable, and then if the seed is viable, that's when they will like dispose to farmers with the uh, collaboration with extension. And sometimes they do also have plots where they will uh, they work, they sow the seeds, they check it for themselves. Because if you give seeds to farmers, you too need to have a, a area where you have to demonstrate to see whether the farmers are following your advice. So if you work on it and then maybe on the long run when there is any fault, you will know that this is where the fault lies. Either the farmer didn't follow your advice or maybe due to climatic uh, effect because at the moment we are on uh, climatic uh, challenges, so many challenges, rainfall, shortage, or maybe heavy rainfall, windy, salt, so many things are working alongside with uh, extension and research. Uh, more or less, uh, we help the farmers and the research. Because sometimes farmers will come with seeds. They want to grow seeds, but if the seed is not viable, they, they, they will say, well, I took this seed from so, 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 but the seed is not viable. But we advise them to take the seeds to research so that they will check the viability of the seeds. If the seeds there is not viable, then they, they would advise them to uh, like discard or maybe uh, use another seeds. But sometimes there are so many challenges along the road, uh, like uh, when you come to this Lumos, we see some farmers be selling seeds, they grow the seeds. But I would advise farmers from this platform, let them always go to research they, with the advice of extension so that they will uh, test their seeds. Because we're having so many problems like that. Uh, farmers will go to Lumo, they buy seeds, they go and grow the seeds. At the end of the day, the blame come, will come back to us when we know nothing about it. So it's like a big challenge for extension 
together with research. So I applied my research team together with the project uh, for helping the farmers to come up with these uh, varieties by giving the farmers, and these, these varieties are PO, PO, because they are from foundation seeds. They are PO certified seeds, Orilox and the L sub 19, uh, L19 sub 1. So by helping the farmers to get, with the help of the Gambian government, because I was told the Gambian government want to give farmers 10 tons, a plus to that one, and with the contribution of uh, uh, the project to be the uh, research team by giving the farmers this kind of uh, uh, help so that they come up with uh, a very good yield and product. Gambia, we need to embark on rice production, serious rice production, to stop importation, even not to stop but to minimize it. So I thank you all. Uh, I don't have to go into so many things. On behalf of my able director general, I am very pleased to be here to witness this important occasion, uh, the handing over of 1.2 tons, uh, basic consisting of Orelox 6 and Narika L19, uh, which came as a result of effective collaboration between NARI and Regional Rice Value Chain Transformation Project. Uh, I believe this is a milestone in helping the project to achieve its objective and also help in Gambia government for the attainment of its objective, that is to produce satisfied seeds from the Gambia. Uh, currently, almost two days ago, I was also very busy in the same uh, you know, venture, uh, trying to package our seeds. So on behalf of my able director general, we really commend Nari for this wonderful job well done. It was not easy as the farm manager dilated earlier, since at the uh, area select, area identification, because you know it involves identifying area where each of these varieties can perform well, and identifying farmers whom can produce very good seeds, and also the good agriculture practices packaging and coaching them. It's a good, it's a job well done. We really commend you uh, for this. Uh, we believe this will go a long way. Imagine one point ton, two tons can actually serve a good seed of a huge area in the Gambia. We believe if the same trend continue, for so we will not source seeds from outside the Gambia, but all the seeds we need will be able to locally produce internally. We believe this will help a long way to save our foreign currency, which could otherwise be drained, you know, as a result of importing seeds. So thank you very much, Nari, for the job well done, uh, for showing us that we can also do it. Gambia government can do it. Uh, the seeds, as we are seeing, Speaking from the seed language, the seeds are pure, true to type, well packaged, and then the winnowing, everything is clean. I can even say it, it can be, most likely it can be more quality than even the seeds that we are importing from other sources. Without wasting more time, thank you very much. Uh, once again, Dr. Tarawale, good morning to you, Deputy Agent for your DG. The two doctors, Sonko, the two, the two Sonkos, um, Mr. Mbai from the city secretariat, uh, Madam Jame, the presiding for his uh, regional director, the station manager of Sapo Agri Station, my able sister Fatumane from Nari, accounts, and the rest of the staff present here. Um, as we all know, the Rise Value Chain Transformation Project is funded by the African Development Bank in collaboration with the Gambia government. And the project has some uh, key partners, as we call them as our implementing partners, IPs. And as which Africa Rice is one of them, National Seed Secretariat is also, and NARI. Um, as the gathering here, we are witnessing um, Nari handing over 1.244 
metric tons of certified, I would call it as certified PO seeds from uh, from 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 their institution to the project to help the rest of the farmers in the region and beyond. Um, the project also has procured some fertilizers, which are due here. Um, distributing this rice to farmers would not be a question. And I doubt if anybody would ask for the purity of these seeds. In, uh, in this gathering here, we have a representative from the National Seed Secretariat and National Agricultural Research Institute. So for one to question, the purity of these uh, seeds is completely out from our own point of view. And on behalf of my project director, we say thank you to Nari once more again uh, for a job well done. And we hope to receive more from you. Um, as we are almost in the dry season now, hopefully before the rain season starts, we may have twice or maybe three times of what you have given to us here. Once again, we say a big thank you to Nari for a job well done. Uh, thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Um, Mr. Lagio, Jamme, Nari is gratefully glad to hand over this quantity of seed which is produced by our support team to the Rice Valley Chain Transformation Project with gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator Lamin. I would also like to join my colleagues to thank um, the support team uh, whose efforts made it possible for all of us to be gathered here today. And I would also like to thank Dr. Ibrahim Sonko, the, pro uh, the Director of Crop Research, Dr. Lamin B. Sonko, the focal person, at the same time, the Director of Crop System and the Agroforestry, Madam Jamme, representing the Regional Agricultural Directorate, Madam Fatumane, our able accountant, Mr. Job, technician, Babukar Jiba, our OIC SAPU, Line Bai, representing the DG of NSS, Lakujor, representing the PD, Mr. Fatajo Lamin, and then uh, Musa Sise, our engineer in SAPU, Jaja, another technician who is directly working on the Dr. Sunku Ibrahim, the media. I thank all of you for coming. I wish to extend fraternal greetings from Nari headquarters and the SAPU team on the auspicious occasion of handing over of rice to RVCTP. Many of us recalled the early stages of this seed production and then the idea behind producing these seeds. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor and privilege to present the closing first remarks in my capacity as the Deputy Director General of NARI and then the coordinating and implementing unit for the handover of this seat to Rice Valley and Transformation Project. But more importantly, I am acting for the Director General, Dr. Demba B. Jallo, who regrettably couldn't be with, with us here due to an urgent official engagement that is happening currently today in Banjul. Those of us who are familiar with Dr. Jarlo and this work will be a testimony to the person he has, especially when it comes to rice seed production and when it comes to the activities of this particular project. I could remember there was a time when we had a, a meeting in the conference room and then we were trying to identify a focal person for this particular project. So when we came up with the Dr. Sonko as the focal person, I could fully remember the statements he uttered in that conference room that we must take all precautionary measures to ensure that this project is successful to the end. And particularly when it comes to the quality of seeds, he does not compromise it. So he has person and suggests that must be missing. I am suggesting that 
I am sure he must be missing a very important aspect of a baby that is very dear to his heart. And at the highest level of leadership in Nari, we have recognized that quality seeds play a crucial role in building food and nutrition security. Therefore, the serious inequalities and challenges which have been long plagued with the seed sectors constitute a huge barrier to the ministry's general objective in acquiring food self-sufficiency in the sector. NARI was requested by RVCTP, knowing NARI's expertise in this particular area, to lead in the development and effective and sustainable seed service that would form a pathway for the achievement of quality food and nutrition security. The overall goal is to contribute to increase food and nutrition security in poverty alleviation. Overall, have a tot and then today we are handing over a total of 1.244 tons, composed of two varieties, as alluded by the previous speakers, which are Nerica L19 Sop 1 and the Orelo 6. To conclude, since we have no that much time, ladies and gentlemen, let me recognize that a wide range of contributions and efforts by NARI, especially the SAPU team, have currently converged to make this period an era for seed development in the RCDTP intervention sites. Just yesterday, we were in the Northern Bank busy selecting new sites where we intend to replicate what was done in SAPU and in WASU. This effort is probably directed and coordinated should go a long way towards fulfillment of the RVCTP cherished goal of food, nutrition, and uh, food and nutrition security. What NARI brings to these efforts are the important features of holistic, integrated approach, complementarity, collaboration, consultation, as well as advocacy and commitment. So in all along the road, NARI has not been doing this alone. We've been collaborating with Extension, we've been collaborating with farmers, we've been collaborating with NSS. So it was a holistic approach that was taken, that uh, we, uh, we are yielded what we are witnessing today. Therefore, on this great occasion, when we have the chance to see a bit of what NARI has done through its focal point, Dr. Lamin Sonko and the SAPU team, NARI is sending out a collaborative call for all development partners farmers and all other relevant institutions to join forces with us as well as with RVCTP and with each other to achieve the goals of the project, that is to have food self-sufficiency. So that we can not only have what we eat, but we also have a balance that we can sell out to those who are in need. On that note, I humbly hand over these two rice varieties, Orelo 6 and Nerica Elsop 1, to the representative of the RVCTP project, Mr. Lakujur. On that note, I thank you and God bless all of us. Well,